Judd with what's coming up on the news. Judd? Okay, thanks, Mona. Coming up at 6 on Action 3 News, a shocked grandmother puzzles over... A labor standoff stops a construction job in the flats. The UAW's Chrysler Council has voted on the new contract. It was very close. The workers here in Twinsburg said that they are not going back to work. Not yet. And it doesn't look like summer's going to be making a comeback. Mother Nature aiming fall right at you, Jim. Well, the NFL players are saying forget the percentage of gross demand. We're Action 3 News, and we're next at 6. Case of the Drama School Dropout, tonight at 7. Good evening, I'm Judd Hambrick. Here's what's happening. A shocking story out of Oberlin. Police are looking for the parents of five children. The family, too proud to accept welfare, lived in a station wagon. It appears tonight that one of the children was allowed to starve to death. Action 3 News reporter Cheryl Brown was in Oberlin today. There was a funeral here today for Casatani Morgan. She was three years old and weighed only 10 pounds. It is certainly a bizarre story. Apparently, Henry and Juanita Morgan did odd jobs around Oberlin. In Twinsburg this evening, Chrysler workers continue to defy union directives, and Doug has more on that story. Chrysler's UAW Council late today approved the contract, but it was very close. Up, the city of Akron reaches out and touches some families for Ohio Bell. And next, quick police work ends a bid for freedom. Stay with us. Do it, please. Thank you. Coming up next on Action 3 News tonight, it seems incredible, but this is the last weekend of the summer. We'll find out from Al if it will provide a little bit of taste to fall. Stay with us. Right now, but of course the big question, Al, is it going to last the whole weekend? That's the way it looks, and Mueller's giving me a hard time because he's talking about <laughs> playing golf and stuff. It's not my fault, what can I tell you? Again, though, we had a gorgeous day today, but look at those clouds. You can see them now. They're starting to move into our area. Checking those statistics, 73 degrees today, our high, and our overnight low down to 44. Air quality good, and we picked up no rain today. Currently, we've got sunshine in 73, barometer 29.98. It is rising. Winds are out of the south at 11, and a relative humidity at 37%. Well, a gorgeous day today, and temperatures have risen rather nicely into the low 70s. Let's take a look at our forecast and radar electronic display, and we can show you those temperatures across the state of Ohio. 71 in the Akron-Canton area, Mansfield 68, Youngstown 70, the Columbus region 75, Toledo with 75, and in Cincinnati, they've got 69. Degrees. As we take a look at our super radar scan across the country, over 100 radar sites, no other station in northeastern Ohio can show you this. You can see the precipitation being generated by a cold front coming out of Canada. Some very heavy thunderstorms right now in northern Illinois and Indiana. Levels 1 through 4, up to 5 inches of rain in some of those areas of purple at this hour. Latest satellite picture just in bears it out. We go up above the clouds, look down on the Earth's surface. You can see the cold front. The levels of reds, the top of the clouds, and that shows where the heaviest thunder storms are although over Ohio skies kind of clear now but you can see that leading edge of cloudiness just working its way into our region and it stretches all the way back down into the New Mexico area and also into Arizona high pressure back up over the Plain States trying to build in but it's going to be here a little bit late I think for our weekend and what about Hurricane Debbie well she is moving uh, right now in an east northeasterly direction to the north at about 12 miles per hour with 100 mile per hour winds. Right now it's about 425 miles south-southwest of Nova Scotia. It doesn't look like it's going to be affecting land. Well, as far as high temperatures across the country at this hour, 68 I got up to in New York City, 75 the nation's capital. Atlanta up to 86 degrees. Dallas, Texas, 82 degrees. Make that 92. 91 in Arizona. And we had uh, in New Mexico, I should say, 76 in Los Angeles. Well, for us, 
the high pressure that gave us such a gorgeous day moving off the east coast, a southerly flow of air around it brought those temperatures up into the low 70s, but they're going bye-bye. This cold front is building in here, and with it, increasing cloudiness. Late tonight, some scattered showers look like they'll develop with overnight lows, only down to about 52, but by tomorrow morning, with that cold front moving through, then fall is going to be ushered in. Colder air building in here with those northwesterly winds. We look for variably to mostly cloudy skies. Scattered showers, it's going to be breezy. A temperature of only 65 degrees for a high with the wind chill. It'll feel like the mid to upper 50s. By tomorrow evening, the high pressure will be building in. Again, some clouds the way it looks like for Sunday morning, but then hopefully that high pressure will build in enough to bring some sunshine our way. So as we take a look at our forecast, first for those of you going to a high school football game tonight, 7.30, well, there will be increasingly cloudy skies. By the end of the game, could be a scattered shower or two. Overnight, we are looking for increasing clouds, scattered showers, and a low of about 52 degrees. For tomorrow, well, here's the way it shapes up. Cloudy skies, scattered showers, going to be cold with a high of only 65 and a low of about 46. And if you're going to the Browns game on Sunday at 1 o'clock, look for partly sunny skies and a temperature of around 64 degrees. Make that 62 degrees. The next five days, uh, we'll see some morning clouds and sunshine on Sunday and 64. Partly sunny Monday, 65. Showers and much colder on Tuesday, 58. And to Wednesday, partly sunny and 60. Lake Erie water temperature, 68 degrees small craft advisories probably on the lake tomorrow with northwesterly winds 10 to 20 knots and three to five foot waves so looks like a good day to snuggle by the fire with somebody you like you doing anything tomorrow <laughs> well no i'm gonna i'm gonna be worrying about what jim's gonna do out there on the links oh, is he no. gonna a lot of rain showers well, he can use that maybe. as an excuse for his game <laughs> <laughs> that's right <laughs> when we come back, a look at the St. Joe Vikings, always a tough football team. Plus, we may have, or we will have, I should say, the first major break in the NFL Players Talks. Have a good evening. Taffy Phillips on Action 3 News Nightside will look at an alternative for the 18-year-old no longer able to drink beer. And, of course, we'll let you know the latest on the Chrysler auto workers situation. Metzenbaum. Channel 3 presents the United Way special Saturday at 7. This is NBC Nightly News with Roger Mudd in Washington and commentary by John Chancellor. Good evening. The Reagan administration's repeated demand for an Israeli pullback from Beirut fell on death.